Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi or simply Gandhi, was born on October 2, 1869 in Porbandar, a coastal town in the present-day state of Gujarat, India. He was the youngest of three sons in his family. His father, Karamchand Gandhi, served as the Diwan, chief minister of Porbandar, and his mother, Putlibai, was a devout and deeply religious woman. Gandhi received his early education in Porbandar and later in Rajkot, where he was an average student. At the age of 13, he was married to Kasturba Makanji, who became his lifelong partner and supported him in his endeavors. In 1888, Gandhi traveled to England to study law at University College London. During his time in London, he was exposed to diverse cultures and ideologies. He became involved with the Theosophical Society and developed a keen interest in religious and philosophical texts. After completing his studies, Gandhi returned to India in 1891 and started practicing law in Bombay, now Mumbai. However, he faced difficulties as a lawyer and soon accepted an offer to work in South Africa. It was in South Africa that Gandhi's transformative journey towards activism and nonviolent resistance began. Gandhi witnessed the racial discrimination faced by the Indian community in South Africa, which deeply affected him. He actively fought against such injustices, leading campaigns for civil rights and equality. He coined the term Satyagraha, meaning truth force or soul force, to describe his philosophy of nonviolent resistance. Gandhi's methods of peaceful protest and civil disobedience involved boycotting British-made goods, organizing strikes, and leading marches. These tactics, combined with his powerful speeches and writings, brought international attention to the Indian struggle for justice and inspired people around the world. In 1915, Gandhi returned to India and played a crucial role in the Indian National Congress, advocating for independence from British rule. He led various movements and campaigns, including the Non-Cooperation Movement, the Salt March, and the Quit India Movement, all of which aimed at challenging British authority and demanding self-rule for India. Throughout his life, Gandhi practiced simplicity, humility, and self-discipline. He wore simple clothing, lived a frugal lifestyle, and encouraged others to do the same. He promoted equality, fought against untouchability, and championed the cause of women's rights. Gandhi's leadership and mora 